Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Mayor's Monday message for January 24th, 2022. Our first message of 2022. I was out of the city for a while. Um, I was with my daughter for a little bit, uh, spending some time with my six-year-old daughter. And then at the uh, U.S. Conference of Mayors Winter Conference in Washington, D.C. And uh, I got to tell you, I'm back and I am pumped. Um, I, just spending time with the mayors from all across the country, being able to talk directly with the mayor of Denver and Chicago and Miami, uh, Kansas City, to talk about our gun violence issues that we all have, uh, to talk about um, poverty and, and trying to get business restarted after the pandemic or during the pandemic, I should say. Um, just so many, so many enlightening conversations. And uh, the best message I can bring back is that York City is on track. Everything that we were proposing um, as far as uh, what was in those ARPA asks uh, that we asked the council to support and, and just to say that uh, I have talked with Sandy Walker, we're going to get some work done here and uh, tired of this uh, silliness. The things, everybody agrees that things need to get done. Uh, council just didn't like how I did it, so now I want to see how they want to do it. Uh, but we're going to talk through this and, and uh, Stuff will happen here in York. I am confident of that. Uh, whether we agree or not, the work has to get done. And I'm telling you, I, I just brought back evidence and videos from the U.S. Conference of Mayors that just shows what we have, are asking for is exactly what we need to do. There are cities that have seen major reductions in their, uh, in, in their violent crime. And you know what? Credible messengers, co-responders, programs that reach out to the citizens and try and help them where they are. Um, we, I even got some brand new ideas that I brought the, uh, I called the commissioner, Commissioner Muldrow right away. Um, there's a, a, one city has a, actually a city in Hawaii has a camp for the children of the incarcerated, a free camp. Uh, we know that children of incarcerated individuals are 50 to 60 percent more likely to become uh, incarcerated themselves in the future. So let's target them and have, uh, you know, give them an opportunity to get away and get other influences. Just all these kinds of uh, innovative ideas are flowing through my head now. So uh, um, and I've gotten gotten written down and we're going to share all this information. But just an incredible, valuable time. Uh, at the U.S. Conference of Mayors. So uh, uh, when I disappear for a little while, there's a good reason. Uh, I'm coming back recharged and uh, ready to get things, ready to get things rolling. So uh, um, we're, we're going to have meetings this week on uh, um, Wi-Fi for the city of York, for uh, the local sourcing initi initiative, which is how to get the big businesses in the area uh, to learn about what we, the local businesses, can do to supply them. Let, let's keep as much money in York as possible and recirculate it. That's what we need to be doing more of. Most of the time when a big business contracts, they're contracting with somebody outside of the air, even the city or the area of York. Um, we, need to, we need to remedy that and we can do that fairly easily with a small investment of just getting some data organized, getting some people organized. Um, you can hear whenever I'm talking fast, it means I'm excited. So, um, you know, I got to meet with the secretaries of commerce and labor and the uh, head of the Small Business Administration, talking a lot about the infrastructure bill and how if we can get coordinated, if we can get organized, if the county, the state, the local utilities, uh, if we can all get organized, we can put together applications that can blow away the, uh, the others. Um, it's just all about organization. That's exactly what they're looking for. And uh, we can do that. We can, we can get everybody. We got uh, great planners at the uh, city and at the uh, county. And uh, I'm confident that we can put something together to really bring a good bit of this money back to the city of York. So uh, that's where I've been. That's what I'm excited about. Uh, that's where I'm ready to go right now. Um, whether it's to uh, implement the, uh, the violence reduction strategies that we have in place um, or to look at this, uh, to get our grants people working on the new infrastructure uh, bill. That's one of the reasons why I was anxious to get some of this ARPA stuff going and out of the way is because now we've got infrastructure. 
I can't have our grants coordinator here spending a whole lot of time back on what we already did. So we're going to have to, you know, we're going to have to work with council. And they already said that they wanted an independent uh, individual involved, so they can contract for that individual, and um, that way our people can get working on what they need to work on, which right now is the infrastructure bill. There's too much money at stake to let it go. Uh, the ARPA money we already have. Now, the infrastructure money, that's competitive. We need people working on the grant applications, not just the uh, administration of money that we already have guaranteed. So a lot of work to do here. Uh, speaking of a lot of work, I didn't put this on there, but there are also a lot of job opportunities here at the city of York right now, uh, particularly um, in the finance department and in the Bureau of Health. So please check out um, our uh, um, yorkcity.org scroll down and click it says what do you want to do there's a thing about employment on there click on there and it'll give you a whole list of jobs uh, that we have available here at the city of york so those are things i'm excited about what i'm not excited about uh, is to come back and see the covid numbers uh, here for the city of york uh, 240 percent higher or 240 percent of uh, or 2.5 times the number of COVID cases when we were at the first peak or at the biggest peak. So we were at about 57 cases over seven days, 57 new cases. This is just for the city, not the whole county. So out of 44,000 people, uh, 57 cases in seven days. Um, now we're up around, um, what was it, 100 and, 130, 136 or something like that. So approximately 2.4 times higher than when we were shutting down restaurants and being safe there. So uh, I will say on my travels, I was very safe. At the Conference of Mayors, we not only had to have our, uh, um, our vaccines, but we had to also get tested every two days just to be allowed to be in the room with all these other mayors, the secretaries of the different departments, um, uh, Representative McCarthy, the Republican minority uh, representative, and Nancy Pelosi were both at the conference, uh, of course, and President Biden came um, and, uh, and spoke to us about the importance of, you know, mayors have to make these things happen right now. We got this money. It's the first time in time, you know, since the Eisenhower, most of us were not even born. Even our senior citizens weren't even born. Uh, when 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 uh, some of our senior citizens weren't even born when this this kind of money came out into the community, but we've got to organize and we've got to put differences aside, and we've got to make some plans that are going to attract the attention of Washington D.C. and put their money where where we want it right here in the city. Um, but to get back to COVID, we, we had uh, extreme COVID precautions there, getting tested every other day. Um, meanwhile, here in York, things are not looking very good. So there's only two things we can do, wear our masks and get, back, get our vaccines. So I'll stick with that. It's all we can do. You heard it enough. I don't need to say it again, but uh, um, I'll leave it at that for now. Uh, we also have back to school, and those are available, again, at the uh, Family First Health right across the street here. Free vaccines, 116 South George Street. Uh, you can call them at 717-812-4495 or go to myWellspan.org to set up appointments for Tuesdays and Thursdays. They're giving out the vaccines. Also, um, other types of uh, uh, personal health assistance, uh, back to school immunizations by our York City Bureau of Health at our clinic at 435 West Philadelphia Street, and also STD and STI testing uh, for those that may be symptomatic or you may have a concern that you may have uh, picked up something. Uh, they, that is by appointment also. And you can call the Bureau of Health at 849-2299 to get your appointments there. Um, we are limiting, though, we're trying to limit our uh, public exposure, I would say, at the Bureau of Health uh, as best we can. So the, the Narcan uh, uh, distribution event for tomorrow has been canceled just for January. We'll, we'll reassess it and hopefully start it back up in February. But with the numbers of, uh, of cases just exploding in the city of York, we do not want to uh, have uh, you know, we want to do our best to limit contact. Finally, um, just 
so much of my discussion down in Washington, D.C. was about jobs and what we can do to really get the, get the jobs out there. There has never been such a high demand for employees as there is right now. People, you know, they talked about the great resignation, but people didn't just resign and walk away from jobs. They said, this job isn't good enough for me. I'll go get a better job. So there's good jobs, there's better jobs, that there's jobs for almost everyone out there. Um, I know right before I left, uh, White Rose was still hiring and felonies were okay. They, all you needed to do was show up and be on time and act right. That's it. Just be on time and act right. And uh, um, again, I speak to you when I talk about felonies, I've lived it. I lived the time when I couldn't get jobs that I thought, you know, that I was way overqualified for. Um, so I get it. But even if, you're, uh, even if you're down, even if you've been beaten up over the last five, 10 years, right now the market is such that, that those felonies don't mean as much as they used to or the misdemeanors or anything. So please, Make sure you make an effort right now. This is the time to make an effort. And the Job Club over by Crispus Attics, sponsored by Crispus Attics at 620 South George Street, um, they're here to help you. And uh, th there are others also. I just emphasize the Job Club because uh, I just love my friend Harry O. And, and he's, his enthusiasm for what he did, does, um, it, it just, it's palpable. You can, you can feel it. And uh, they're open Monday through Friday. Uh, 10 to 3, and uh, you can call 717-848-1808. So um, that's what I've got for you today. It, it is great to be back. Um, it's, uh, it's a little cold. Watch the ice out there. I uh, saw some people slipping yesterday, and, uh, you know, we got this weather. We got we to gotta be careful. But uh, other than that, you know, it's, there's some good stuff going on. Just everybody be really safe. Wear your masks and, uh, and take care of each other. Take care of your family. And I'll see you around the city of York. Have a good one.